Hi, all beings, specifically to rational beings, this is uh, Padudes again, ang Katolikong philosopher. Our topic for today is about the advantage of being Catholic. The Another advantage of being Catholic is you can prove the Catholic Church as being founded by Christ historically and geographically. Historically, if you read the Acts of the Apostles, uh, it would tell you that the Apostles as community in Rome, in Italy, it says Italy itself. And now the center of the church is, from, is in Rome, from Jerusalem to Rome because of uh, Constantine. So you can prove that. You can just Google it. It will tell you the story. And geographically as well, we can prove that the Catholic Church is founded by Christ. In, 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 in Jerusalem itself, the most important places where Christ had been, there are Catholic churches. For example, the, in Bethlehem, where it's supposed to be the place where Jesus was born, there is the Catholic Church of the Nativity and others. Okay, so that's the advantage of being Catholic. We can prove that the Catholic Church is founded by Christ historically and geographically. Other churches, however, would find it hard to prove that their church is founded by Christ historically. Because you cannot connect their founder to Christ. If they are founded in the 19th century or the 17th century, or even in some of them are at 20th century, how could you connect it to the foundation of the church that was founded by Christ in Jerusalem in year 33? Sometimes you wonder, like, how could these people believe that the church, that their church is founded by Christ, which is easy to identify? Just read history. That is like saying, Cardinal Newman mentioned that to be deep in history is to cease to become Protestant because you will find and you will know the truth if you just search for history. A great number of pastors have converted to the Catholic Church in recent history. It's because they search history. They search the, the writings of the fathers of the church. You have Scott Hahn, you have others, many more Protestants pastors who converted to the Catholic Church because they try to search for history. They try to know the truth objectively. That's why they were able to find the truth and convert themselves to the Catholic faith. And then they realize how good it is to be in truth, guided by the Holy Spirit. Right? So the advantage of being Catholic one of the advantages, again, is because our faith, the Catholic faith, can be proven historically, easily. Google it, and you can read historic history books, and it will tell you about the beauty of the Catholic Church, despite some scandals in it, which is, obviously, there will always be scandal, because like even Christ, when he chose the 12 apostles, there's a Judas there's a Thomas, there's a Peter, okay? So, the, the church that was founded by Christ is not perfect, but Christ had promised to be with it in Matthew 16, 18. Christ promised that he will be with the church till the end of time, and no power of hell can prevail over it, okay? So, thank you very much. For those of you who have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, Padods ang Katolikong Philosopho and share it with others so that we can promote our Catholic faith and enhance our knowledge of the Catholic faith so that our brothers and sisters in the Catholic Church would also be enlightened and they will not be easily swayed to other sects founded by false prophets. God bless us all.